What's up, MAJ Custom fam? Welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, I'm Amanda. If not, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. You guys, today, I'm just gonna get right into this video. We have been so busy making the very popular vending machines. They've been out and been around for quite some time. Um, they're just, more people are getting, uh, how can I say it, they're, they're, more people are getting into making them, okay? So, they are going around like crazy. So, me and hubby have quite a few orders to finish, okay? So I am going to discuss with you guys the materials not to use, the materials that are best to use, and that way you guys can decorate some really nice vending machines. I haven't finished this one off yet. A lot of them don't have the backing because I was waiting on some hinges to come. But let's get right into this video. Okay, this is my rough draft, all right? You guys can see it's really, really rough. Even the paper, um, the ink smeared off of this. Uh, this was sticker paper, okay? A lot of people out there use sticker paper and they're fine. When I tried to use sticker paper, that is what happened to me. That's a big no-no. So for my rough draft, you guys, foam board I got from Dollar Tree. Hot glue um, sticks and a hot glue gun, nothing fancy. Okay, this is my little rough glue gun. I am investing in a bigger one though, okay? Because these vending machines take up quite a bit of glue. So just keep in mind, make sure you have enough glue sticks to go around um, for your vending machines, okay? So my foam board, this one, because I didn't want to use good foam board, I grabbed foam board from Dollar Tree, from Walmart, from Hobby Lobby, and I did not check Michaels, okay? I did not, as you can see, the foam board does not cut clean. You don't get clean cuts from Dollar Tree foam board. So if you're trying to do these vending machines and you're going crazy cutting your foam board that you got from Dollar Tree, it's not you, it's the Dollar Tree foam board, okay? Um, Walmart, give or take. I really didn't care for the Walmart foam board either because I would get a few clean cut lines and then a few would be like this, um, sorry, like this messed up and rigid. So the foam board that I went with was Hobby Lobby. Um, this is Hobby Lobby foam board and look at the cuts on there. Okay. So you may have to spend a few dollars, maybe two to five dollars a foam board. Um, again, they had some at Hobby Lobby for $2, but they only had one of these, okay? So I had to search around for this foam board in particular, but they did have another brand. I think it was like $5. Um, but anyhow, Hobby Lobby foam board works best for me. So that's what I would go with once you guys get your vending machines perfect and you, you know, know how you're gonna put it together, okay? I would not waste good foam board on something that you're not sure of just yet. And what I mean by that is your sizes, you wanna make sure you get your cut sizes right for your sides, your top, your bottom, and of course for your shelves, okay? So, sticker paper, you guys. Um, what I ended up doing, this is the sticker paper that I've been using. All right. And again, this is just what I'm using to make our vending machines, okay? But there's a ton of videos out there that you guys can definitely go check out and follow if you decide that this video is, you know, not for you guys. Sticker paper, this is the sticker paper that I use, you guys. If you wanna go with sticker paper, I would suggest to put some type of clear um, self-adhesive laminate on there so it does not smear. If you have this brand, this brand to me tends to smear a lot. Okay, even if I put it to the side, it's still gonna smear. So, I did not use sticker paper, but if you choose to, use laminate. So what I ended up using is my, it's right here. This is what I use, okay? This is the photo paper that I use. This is the self-adhesive laminate sheets that I use together, all right? You put this on top of your image once it's printed out, and then you just cut your edges once you um, get ready to cut your design, you just cut, like, it's like a, when I go to print my images, I get like a white border, so I have to cut that off, but I make sure I put my laminate on top 
before I cut any of the edges off, okay? So that's what I use for my images, okay? And I even did a, we did a mini mouse right here, all right? So, and when you use your hot glue, you guys, be careful you don't get it on the window because it will stick and it may smear, okay? So, that's what I use for my images. Now, I did order a template for my vending machine parts, but the template came with the whole vending machine parts. It came with the sides, it came with the shelves, it came with the front and the back. I was not so much worried into buying the template for that because if you're gonna use, we're, we're doing eight and a half by 11, right? So in Silhouette Studios, because I use Silhouette Studios, your media size is automatically gonna be eight and a half by 11. And then all you have to do is upload your image. And as far as your square, um, you can, like I said, you can buy a template uh, if you want and you can use the parts off of there that, you know, upload. But it's pretty much up to you on how big you want your window to be. I think my window, maybe six and a half, seven in height and six wide. If you don't want to go so wide because you're scared to cut, you know, the edge right here or you just don't want to go too close and afraid of maybe messing up the edge right here because it's so skinny when you go to take the blade to it, um, you can always bring it in. So you just need a square and you can just sit it on top of the image how you want and then you knock it out and then that's your window, okay? So you have to, and, and another thing you guys is I use the, the front as a guide, okay? So what I mean by that is my front and my back should be the same size. For my sides, depending how you want, how wide you want your sides to be, mine are four inches wide and then eight in height. It's gonna always match up to these corners, okay? Your sides are gonna match up to the front as well as it should to the back. Your shelves, these sometimes are a little off. Um, just be careful. I put the foam board right up to it like this and then I mark my lines and I cut. I cut whatever little piece of foam I need to to get me a shelf, okay? So that's how I do my um, vending machine uh, pieces for that, okay? For the window, all right? Let's discuss the window because everybody asks about the window. What do you use for the window? I started off using this. Crystal clear bags, these I got from Hobby Lobby. I started off using these because this is what I had on hand before I could find out what's the really good stuff. This is a bit more expensive, okay? The window that I am putting on the vending machines we are selling is by Cricut. And I don't know if that's acetate sheets, if, if I'm saying it right, you guys. But that's it, okay? When you see these, they're gonna look like let me show you a piece. Of course, this is one of the ones I already cut a window out, but it's gonna look dull. But what it is, is it's got film on both sides. So you were, you are to peel both sides off. Now, these are a bit more expensive. Um, you only get six, uh, I think you only get six of these sheets and they're like $6.99, you guys. So. Yeah, you only get six of these sheets and they're 12 by 12, okay? So it says it right there in the back. Um, let me bring it down. All right, so six sheets and they're $6.99 each, un unless you catch them on sale. All right, so that's what I use for the window. Um, but again, if you wanna go with some type of clear plastic, I've seen some people use uh, the plastic that you were to cover like a window up if, if you're trying to stop cold air from coming in. Yeah, I've seen people even use those sheets, okay? So you can either go simple like this, which that is what I use on here. <laughs> so that's crystal clear bags that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. You can use that and it's way cheaper, okay? And these are eight by 10, all right? So if you can't afford the expensive ones and you can always go with the clear bags and you just cut them up so you would just split the front and the back cut them up in half and you'll have enough for two windows per one little bag so you would cut this so you just take your scissors and you cut along the edge here okay and you'll have enough for two windows all right if you use that one to make your uh, vending machine okay so now I showed you, okay, to cut my images. You would need a metal ruler because again, we don't want any mistakes. If you have a plastic ruler, your blade, this is the blade I use. I use a skinny blade 
because to me it fits better when it's time to cut out the window so to me the smaller blades work okay now keep in mind if you get a blade like this and this is just for people who don't know that because my husband just showed me this and you get a blade like this you see them little lines if you don't know that once your blade gets dull you just cut the tip off and you'll have uh, a new blade okay if you guys invest in one of these and don't understand what those lines are they're just for you to cut off once your blade gets dull and you have a clean a brand new blade so a metal ruler I use mine like this okay I use mine face down on my image this is one of the images that came out that I'm not gonna use but I just lay it face down well I'm right-handed so I go like this and then I just line it up and I make sure I hold my ruler down in place really hard I press down on the table and then I cut all my edges out okay you guys so for the backing now this is another this is another one that I did that was a rough draft okay um, for the back I use these little plastic hinges you can purchase them off of Amazon um, this is the back again this is a rough draft that I did just to put out there that we are um, selling that we are selling these um, I put a little bit of velcro right here to kind of hold the door shut okay that's pretty much what I did and then for the originals you guys I will be putting a little sign back here on the door saying uh, be careful with opening because the velcro can be a little rough it can be kind of um, hard to open if you're not careful okay so for the hinges they look like this they come in this type of packet and they are red they got the red covering on there all right so if you guys have any questions don't be afraid to ask um if you want to go bigger what are they like 16 people are doing like big ones like 16 by i don't know what the actual size is but if you go bigger 13 by 19 and all that good stuff you can turn your image over into you can take it to walgreens or rite aid who can print big prints for you um i think it's like a it's like um what is it called it's uh oh my gosh i'm having a brain fart um they are called poster i think it's like a poster poster board image or something like that that you can get printed bigger if you want to go bigger and if you don't want to do the small eight and a half by 11s but starting off for me you guys this is perfect because i can get a hang of it you know and stuff like that so this is the hinges what they look like and of course you're going to peel off the red um covering right there and it's really sticky so be careful when you go to place them onto your machine because once they stick you can't remove it it will peel everything off okay all right i think i pretty much gave y'all um the gist of everything you're gonna need to build you a nice machine now for the glue i mentioned the hot glue gun i tried this glue and i tried this glue you guys this one i did not like because it gets real sticky and it can stick to your hands and, it, and it's just a whole mess this one doesn't dry fast enough okay and you need your glue to dry fast enough for when you're holding you want your walls, your sides to stay up. You want that glue to dry fast enough. So I recommend the hot glue sticks with the hot glue gun, okay? Images, for my images, and here goes a cocoa melon one. Lately, I've been using Pinterest. Pinterest has been coming in, uh, just it's been working just fine for me for images that I need to find, especially for these vending machines, okay, you guys? So again, um, I don't think I left anything out. For the door, what I do when it comes to the door, I completely cut it off. I don't know if you can see that. And then I just use tape to tape it on there so it is, so it's, um, you can swing it open because remember we have to put the bottom still on here. So there will be candy right here that I'm going to just put a little bit of dab of glue to hold them in place. So when the customers come pick them up, they're not moving around, okay? So I will be putting some um, candy in here 
for the kids can simply put their hand, their little fingers in there and grab them out. All right, so just keep in mind, I cut the door completely off and just tape it back on, okay? So that's how I do that. Um, I think I covered everything for you guys in this video. All right, so again, you guys, start making your own vending machines. And again, my I ended up investing in a bigger uh, inkjet printer, not so much bigger as wide, but just uh, more ink because I was running through a lot of ink We've done so far nine vending machines we've done so far and we have ran through a lot of, well, I didn't get a chance. We ran through a set of ink cartridges and I was on my second set. And at that point we realized we needed a bigger inkjet printer because if not, you're gonna go through ink really quick if you have a small printer for the Easter bags. I have these Easter bags right here. They're clear. I picked these up from Dollar Tree. You should get two in a bag, okay? For the ribbon, I'm going to put one of these. There's two on here, right? There's two on here. I got these from Walmart. I think they were like $1.24. All right, so you are to tie up your Easter bag and then put your ribbon on there, okay? Just like so, all right? So clear plastic bags I picked up from Dollar Tree and you should get two in a pack. That's how mine came. They look like this. This is what they look like, okay? This is what they look like. Some are hanging over by the party supplies and some are hanging over in the Easter aisles, okay, where they have all the Easter stuff, all right? Okay, you guys, I think I just about covered everything. Um, this one right here is Super Mario Brothers, okay? This one I spent a little bit more time on. This is the board from Walmart, though. Um, but again, like I said, I like Hobby Lobby's phone board. Uh, just keep in mind, though, you're going to have to probably spend just a couple dollars more uh, if you were to get a little bit better, decent foam board, okay? Don't go cheap with these because you will have a huge mess if you go cheap, okay, you guys? So, yeah, you guys, I hope I explained everything. Here goes another one. This is Dragon Ball Z. I hope I explained everything to you guys. Um, in a way that you understand and you can get started on getting your own vending machines together again I only purchased the template because I wanted the vending machine parts other than that I pretty much did the, the size the front and the back just you could just use your media size and go from there But remember all your sides should add up They should be the same in height. Okay, and then whatever how wide you want them to be Okay, again mine are like four inches wide but your front, your back, everything should add up all the way around. We still have to put the doors on these and some shelves and some of them. Um, see this one right here? See how that looks? It's not a clean cut. So th that's why I say the foam board makes a huge difference and it does make your vending machines look really, really nice if you just put a little bit more money into the foam boards, okay? All right, you guys, I believe that is everything for this video. So again, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you guys get the gist of how to put your vending machines together. But as of right now, people just wanna know the basics of, you know, where you get your images from, uh, what, do you, what do you use for the window, you know, how big, all that stuff. Again, mine are just eight and a half by 11, okay? And you guys seen the photo paper I used and the laminate sheets I used, they're all eight and a half by 11. They're nothing special, nothing special, okay? Eight and a half by 11, okay? Now this one down here says 9.25 by 12 inches, but hey, it fits right over my glossy paper and it's protected and I don't have to worry about it smearing, all right? It's all protected. You don't gotta worry about it smearing, y'all. Give the customers, you know, some good quality vending machines. Okay, you guys, so that's it for this video. I am going to end the video um here and again if you guys have any questions don't be afraid to leave 
the comments down below and I will get back to you. Either me or hubby will um, get back to you guys as soon as we can, okay, on answering them all. So stay blessed, you guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we will see you all in the next video. Stay blessed. Bye.